Hello. How is everybody doing today? Let's say hi to Winnie. Little boy Kevin. Cleo. Josh is Snowflake. There it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Cleo. I knocked you down. Uh, and... Come on, James. There's James. And we'll go around the tree. Oh, there's little boy Alan. As an angel. And there's Baxter. Oh, and Roman. There you are, Roman. And Sterling. So, how is everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to read a Peep the Cat story. But first, let's go over some words we might find in this story. I'm pretty sure we're going to find this word. And, A-N-D. Because we're going to talk about Pete and his friend Grumpy. Were, W-E-R-E. -E. Well, Pete and Grumpy were eating some food at the table in the kitchen. He, I think Pete is a he. Dog, there are no dogs in this story. Because it's a cat story, but Baxter wants to make sure you know how to spell dog. D O G. Is this is a story? Yes, yes, there are cats in this story. Mom, oh, Pete's mom is in the story. It. It is about eating foods you don't like. Was, this was the story I picked today. R, that sounds like a pirate, A-R-E, R. She, mom is a she in the story. Me, I'm not in the story, but I'm the one reading the story. I and you. You are listening to the story. Not, not about a dog. The, Pete, the cat. Dad, oh, there's no dads in this story. And no, Grumpy sometimes says no to things. But we will see how this story goes because the story is called, and it just went away. The story is called Pete the Cat, Three Bite Rule. Here we have Pete, Grumpy the Toad, Pete's mom, all sitting at a table, and Pete's mom and Pete seem to be making something in that bowl. Now I have to turn it around to read it. And it says, today's the potluck lunch at Pete's school when everyone brings their favorite dish to share with the class. Pete and Grumpy Toad are helping Mom make Pete's favorite dish, banana casserole. Uh, but Grumpy doesn't seem very excited. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Are you going to let people eat this? Grumpy asks. Huh? Pete loves bananas. I don't like bananas, says Grumpy. Have you ever tried a banana, asks Mom. I did, Grumpy says, once. It was the worst taste-related day of my entire life. The flies were hovering around a banana, and my tongue accidentally touched it. Grumpy shudders at the memory. So here he is. 
he went to get one of the flies that was on the banana and he accidentally tasted the banana. Did not like it. Well, in this house, we practice a three-bite rule, says Mom. Grumpy look confused. So Pete and Mom sing the three-bite rule song. Now, it seems like Pete the cat loves to sing. But I am not going to sing this song for you. I will say the song. To find out what you like, use this little tool. Easy breezy ABC, it's called the three bite rule. Now you don't have to like it, but you do have to try. With just three tiny little bites, you might find something cool. So one bite, two bite, three bite rule. Okay. Rumpy seems kind of excited about this. So the three bite rule isn't just about food, says Mom. It's also about trying anything and everything, as long as you try it three times. Pete, you've never tried my pogo stick, said Grumpy. Three bite rule, everyone says. So it looks like Pete's going to try that pogo stick. Pete bounces one, two, three times on Grumpy's pogo stick, and everybody cheers. Ooh. Wait a second, Grumpy says to Pete. You said your mom won't try your skateboard. Mom, get on the skateboard. And she rolls once. She rolls twice, and then three times, you oh, she, she was a little scared, but she did it three times. So there she is on the skateboard, and there they are watching her. One, two, three, she went kind of fast on three. Okay, so now they're back in the kitchen. And Grumpy says, oh, I really like that three-bite rule. Then why don't you find out if bananas are for you? Asks Mom. Three-bite rule. Mom and Pete cheer. Somebody's looking at those bananas. Grumpy likes the three-bite rule. When other people have to follow it. Mm. But what does Bumpy do? He sneaks out of the kitchen. Grumpy doesn't like it when he has to try new things. Pete finds Grumpy outside. Nothing bad will happen if you just try a banana, Pete said. It's only three bites, right, says Grumpy. I guess I'm ready for the three-bite rule. I really don't think he has to wear a helmet to try a banana. Well, now they're at school. And look at all the food that all the kids brought food. There's a whole bunch of different things to try. Let's see what we've got here. It's finally time for the potluck lunch at school. Dennis the turtle brings slow-cooked cauliflower. Mm. Kelly brings scrambled egg burritos. Emma brings fancy French toast. Pete has never seen so many delicacies. He's very excited to three-bite rule everything on the table. Look at all those interesting foods they brought. Grumpy doesn't look as excited about doing this, does he? But Grumpy just snorts. Pot luck. More like pot bad luck. Seems like Grumpy has cold web feet about that three-bite rule again. So Pete, being Pete, is going to sing about it. 
Pete the Cat is there to give his friend that extra pinch of courage. Three bite rule, three bite rule, Pete sings to Grumpy. Okay, Grumpy said, let's do this thing. So, ooh, there he is with the banana casserole. So Grumpy tries his first bite of banana casserole. Everyone's watching. Hmm, he says. There's bite two. Grumpy eats a second bite. Okay, he says. There's a third bite. Grumpy takes a third bite. Hey, I did it. I tried bananas. Everyone is waiting for Grumpy's reaction. Well, did you like them? Callie asked. No, I did not like them at all, Grumpy laughs. They tasted yucky, but that's okay. I'm okay, and now I know I don't like bananas because I tried them. I'm going to do three-bite rule on other things, too. So he didn't like those bananas, but he's going to try other foods to see if he likes them. So Grumpy tries the three bites of Dennis's slow-cooked cauliflower. Ooh, I'm a toad who likes cauliflower, shouted Grumpy. Then Grumpy tries three bites of Kelly's scrambled egg burrito. Yum, 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 says Grumpy. Then Grumpy tries three bites of Emma's fancy French toast. I think I like French toast even more than flies. You rock the three-bite rule, Grumpy, Emma says. Everybody cheered for Grumpy, and Pete is really proud of him. Boy, he liked that French toast more than he likes flies. That's big for a toad. Oh, but look at Look what he brought in the bag. Hmm, he brought a bag of flies. <laughs> I'm really glad I tried so many new things, Grumpy says. Now it's your turn. And Grumpy pulls out a plastic bag. Something inside it buzzes. Are those? Kelly starts to ask. That's right. Those are flies, Grumpy says. Three bite rule. Look at, look at their eyes. They are not real happy about eating flies. Oh, that's a three bite rule. Try everything at least three times. Although, maybe flies can be exception to the rule. So he's not going to make his friends eat flies because they're not a toad like he is. Okay, I hope you like that book. And that wasn't a real long book. And I have a kind of really short other Pete book. Let's see. This is Pete the Cat and Kitty. Let's see if we can go through this one. Hiccup! Oh no, Pete has the hiccups. Hiccup! Hiccup! How do you stop the hiccups? Pete asks Grumpy Toad. How do I stop my hiccups? I know, says Grumpy Toad. You stand on one foot. Pete stands on one foot. Hiccup! Hmm. Pete still has the hiccups. Pete asks Callie. How do I stop my hiccups? I know, says Callie. You stand on one foot and hop up and down. So Pete stands on one foot and hops up and down. Hiccup, hiccup. Pete still has the hiccups. Pete asks Gus, how do I stop my hiccups? I know, says Gus. You stand on one foot, you hop up and down, 
and you sing a song. Pete stands on one foot, he hops up and down, and he sings a song. Hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. Pete still has the hiccups. Pete asks Bob, how do I stop my hiccups? I know, says Bob. Oh boy. You stand on one foot, hop up and down, sing a song, and rub your belly, says Bob. Okay. Pete does it. Look at that. He's even standing on a surfboard, and he's singing, and he's patting his belly, and he's standing on one foot hopping. And hiccup! He fell right off the board into the water. Nothing is working. Pete still has the hiccups. Go ask Mom, says Bob. Pete's mom. Pete asks Mom, how do I stop my hiccups? I know, says Mom. You take a deep breath. Pete takes a deep breath. Hold your breath and burn and blow it out, says Mom. Pete holds his breath. Pete blows his breath out. That's it, Pete asks. That's it, says Mom. Pete waits, and he waits. He's waiting upside down, bunny cat. And he waits. The hiccups are gone. Moms are so smart. That's true. And that's the end of Pete and his hiccup story. So, I hope you liked our Pete stories today, and that you're having a fun day. And I will see you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.